Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I will be doing a reaction to the new Saints Row reboot gameplay. So three videos have dropped for the new um, Saints Row reboot that's coming out in August. And a lot of you guys on my last stream yesterday, you were asking me, can you please react to the um, new Saints Row reboot gameplay? I haven't seen this in full yet, so we're gonna react to this. Um, but uh, for you guys, I've made a bunch of videos on this game, um, you know, months ago. And um, my main problem with the Saints Row reboot, it's not that I hate the game, um, I think the game looks fine. Um, I think it looks better than Saints Row 4, and it probably is better than Saints Row 4, which I consider Saints Row 4 to be the weakest one in the series. But um, the reason that I had a problem with the game was because the, the main characters to me looked more like college kids instead of actual gangsters, but we're going to see if anything changed, if anything um, improved right here. So we're going to be reacting to the gameplay, and this is from um, Sector um, SK. I don't know if this is the original source, but this is where I found the um, you know three uh, video links online. And so we're going to react to it. I'll also link Sector's channel down below so you guys can actually see the original videos. But uh, let's react to the gameplay right here and let's see um, what this game is like. And um, I'm warning you guys, there's going to be probably things that I'm going to like and things that I don't like. But I'm going to tell you guys from my perspective, my opinion, what I like and what I don't like. And this is coming from a hardcore Saints Row 1 and 2 uh, fans. So when I'm going to be basing like my likes and dislikes, I'm going to be comparing it a lot to Saints Row 1 and 2. So I just wanted people to know that. Okay, we're starting with Saints Row um, gameplay um, uh, mix, driving and shooting. Okay, was oh, that a wingsuit? Oh, and there's a fighter jet. Laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool. Let me get the McGillian. No. So these are the main characters. Um, but like I said, to me, sometimes they look like um college kids instead of gangsters. Try to keep up but, uh, this time. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the See gameplay the here. The graphics do look good. Uh, you know, I'll say that. I don't really have a problem with the graphics. Destroy the cop cars. So this is the driving. Remember to keep your speed up. Cars look like they handle good. The terrain is definitely nice. That she's driving through like a sewer area here. So you're, um, you know, you're seeing a lot of garbage and a lot of other stuff on the side. I hope that you can zoom in the camera a little bit because I don't like this, like, really far out zoom do more on the car. The faster you go. Oh. Okay, crash animations are definitely looking good. That took care of them. Okay, so this is the weapon wheel in combat. Looks like some kind of AK rifle. So this is that that yellow um uh, uh yellow gang from the uh from the trailer that you, the original that cinematic trailer car. that you saw, like the really um big muscular gang. Oh, okay, so there's finishers. Um, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> that was well. Problem. So there are Lost finishers. Hopefully there's a lot of finishers. What? Um, so that, uh, the police picked up that firefight at the it doesn't become repetitive. Your way. Grab a the trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. So it so looks I like the game has a big countryside to too. Car. Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. The area where the game happen. takes place is supposed to be based on Reno, um, Nevada, I believe. Us. So you're going to see a lot of desert. I like that you can see, like, kind of like the sand and the dirt blowing while you're driving the dirt bike. You free and clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass. Get to the county line. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. Looks like also the police have different squad cars in the um, uh, in the countryside versus the city. That's a nice detail there.
I don't think the boss would have fallen for a trick like that, personally. Well, shit. Hopefully you can actually play in the casinos in this game. That'd be cool. Yeah, so this looks like this place is based on Reno, Nevada. Maybe a little bit of Las Vegas, too. It does look good. The city definitely has more life to it than Steelport. Steelport was not a really good city, in my opinion. Stillwater was way better. Okay, so there's kind of emotes that you can do, and the NPCs can react to you. I'll just ruin the guitar. Oh, here we go. Customization. I want to see this. Oh, wow. My bosses. So you can save, like, a custom boss, and you can just change your character, like, any time. And th this, this is what Saints Row has always done better than GTA. Saints Row has always been better at customization. Way better than GTA. It's always been way more detailed in the customization. Oh, so you can destroy the trees too? Oh, but you notice how the trees just disappeared, the rubble just disappeared really quickly. Um, so you can blow up armored trucks. Um, would have been cooler if you could just blow up in the back door. Um, what was that right there? I noticed something. Okay, so look. Looks like this little phone symbol on... Looks like... Okay, so my best guess is this is... This probably means that the police officer is calling for backup. So if you actually take them out, you probably won't have to deal with more cops. That's probably... If you probably wait for this thing to go all the way down, more cops will probably show up. At least that's what I think this is for. We got a dead body here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shield, but wonder how, how effective that shield is. What is that, a Mac-10 a Mac that she's using? Oh, okay, so this is animation just jumping in the car, similar to Saints Row the Third. This is the city. Skylight looks good. This definitely looks better than Steelport. Definitely. What did they do? Just rob okay? a store? Never felt better. Got the jewelry? It's in the bag. Have a okay, look Okay, so for they just robbed the jewelry I'll store. I'll take your word for it. The cops will be on us soon. I wish they would have showed the jewelry store robbery. Oh ah, shit! Here they come. Hang on. Jesus, this car is fucked what up. What the? It belongs to my husband. He's on the city council. Does he know about your hobby? Oh no, that's our little secret. Hate to say it, but the car might be a giveaway. Don't worry, I'll deal with him. So you can enough. just. I hope that's not just an animation just for this mission. If you can actually do that in co op where one person drives and one person can actually be like on the top of the car, that would actually be pretty cool. But hopefully that's not just a, just for this mission. No. Hang on. Looks like we're in the clear. Shall I drop you off somewhere? Nah, right here is fine. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's watch the next part. Okay, so we got the next part. Gameplay mix, car shop, um, helicopter, and gunfight. So probably some customization in here. Okay, so... Okay, so something that I'm seeing that I don't like already is that... The it looks like the clothing customization, while it looks like there's a lot of options, it's still not as good as Saints Row 2. And what I mean by this is in Saints Row 2, you could change all the different colors on the um uh, hats, pants. There are so many different patterns, like styles that you could have it in. Um, so it looks like there's only one color um uh, and one style for like each um uh each um each piece of clothing that you get. I hope at least I'm wrong on that. Let's look what it looks like to me right now. It's 
Somebody's been playing too much Red Dead Redemption 2. Night Chris returns. What the? They, what is this, Just Cause 4? Okay, there's a, there's a wingsuit. I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I guess it looks cool, but, you know, it still feels a little bit out of place. At least it's not superpowers, right? Oh, I wish they would have shown the, the stealing animation from the gl glide suit, wing suit. So these are the abilities that you can buy for the cars. Ejector seats. Car customization looks good. I don't really have any problems with this. Yeah, so if only, like, the clothing had, like, customization, like, the cars with, like, the different patterns and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, car customization definitely good. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Pantero's HQ. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Trains. Got it. Meet me at the. FBC I really hope cotton. that you can drive the train, or at least like knock it off the tracks, because I remember in the. In Saints Row um, 1 and 2, so, you can knock them off the tracks. So, this thing we're blowing up? It's the giant furnace Los Panteros used to make all the, the tornado helicopter. And weapons and bling for their cars. Saints Row 2 classic. Ha. That'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. Forge Poseidon's palace. It's power and protection and home and hearth. Everything Los Panteros are supposed to be about. Forget his knees. We're gonna rip out his heart. Barbecue day, just like I said. Didn't expect an aerial assault on your First thing break, I would have done you? is destroy the Guys, helicopter on the roof. For Taurus? All clear. Land on the roof and we'll get inside. Blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing, right? Exactly. You wreck my car? I wreck all your fucking cars. So this looks like a stronghold. Um, uh, wonder if the strongholds have... Oh, wow. Okay, you can use that as a trap. Just take out the cars and keep moving. Not to nitpick. Well, didn't your plan call for this place to be deserted? It should have been. You must be working double shifts. And look at all this gear. I bet Sergio's planning something big. Well, we're taking care of that. You shouldn't have messed I'll use the sniper rifle. I want to see this. this is fine. That one had to hurt. Uh, character. I wonder what that purple uh, means when you, when you're fighting an enemy. Maybe that you can do like a um, finisher. The fuck are you doing, Nina? Esto es por ti, mama.
Well, Nina is one of the few characters that does look like a gangster in, um, uh, uh, she, I, I would say she's more cooler than some of the other characters, um, uh, like the guy with no shirt, I don't know what his name is, but, um, uh, he's kind of cringy, um, especially with talking about his food, um, uh, but, um, anyways, um, let's watch the, uh, third and final part, and then I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on all of this. Okay, final part, um, Saints Row gameplay mix, missions, and fights. What's your read on those buyers? Oh, okay, I'm really happy right now. Better this I really like. Mayhem is back. This is one of the best activities ever in a Saints Row game. Just cause chaos, just destroying stuff for money. This is definitely fun. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Definitely good right now. Looks like they're playing co-op. So this is some of the co-op gameplay. Yeah, definitely great. You're doing some real damage here. I like how you see all this, the the dollar symbols, all the damage that you're doing just flying around. Goal is four million dollars for damage. No one's gonna forget this car show anytime soon. Mayhem was always way better than Rampage in GTA games. So this is the guy I was talking about that talks about food all the time. Uh, he was apparently from one of the r other rival gangs before he joined the Saints. What are they wearing? Kind of tied up those fox. So this is the other gang that you fight. They're going to be three gangs. Um. Where the fuck is Kevin? Kevin, that was his name. So. These guys, they're like a dirt bike a motorcycle so gang. Fuck up. Um. <clears throat> fuck you, Saint. Kill me. Where? He is. It would have been cool, cooler if you could have smashed his head into the machine. Hand-to-hand ah! ah! -hand combat looks good. What was that? Somebody what the flaming punch? Okay, I just hope no superpowers, please. I just came here for a drink. Get down. Do your worst. You can't kill us all. So that purple symbol on the God. enemies is probably so when you can do a finisher. You gotta go. Now, I'll get you in. Someone in here. Fuck off. Yeah! <laughs> I'll let you go as soon as you talk. Dragging the guy in a porta potty, just smashing up the other gang's camp. So the idols, that's what that gang is called. You can't do this! I have right! You don't so much right now. Also, we're hearing the different voice actors, because the characters have different voices depending on how you customize your character. We had the one guy who's like the countryside kind of voice, and then we have um this guy right now. Different voice actor. So they have different voices for the characters. Um that's definitely also a step in the right direction. City looks good in the background, like the graphics, like the sunset. City does look good there. Did these nut jobs rig bombs all the way up? Okay, remember your martial training. Uh. Motherfuckers, what happens when they kidnap a saint? Be the motherfucking way.
Party's over, motherfucker. Probably a lot of music in this scene, um, considering it's another house party they're crashing, but no music because of copyright. I hope that eventually you can own a mansion like this, because um, the Saints, some of the Saints for a one houses were really good. Even though you couldn't customize them, they were really big. What's wrong with you people? Protect the collective. What is that he's throwing? Okay, um, so is that, is that it? Okay, so, um, uh, you know, my final thoughts on this, um, uh, I think the game um, looks decent. You know, I think the gameplay looks okay. Customization, I think. I think clothing customization could be a bit better. Um, you know, character customization though, that's good. That we see the different voice actors. Um, car customization is good. Um, uh, finishers are good. Graphics are are good. Um, you know, car animations seem good. Wingsuit a little bit weird, but you know, at least it's not superpowers. Um, uh, I don't know what that flaming punch was though. Um, in the bar. Uh, uh, but, you know, my main problem with this game, like I said, it was just some of the characters were kind of cringy. Um, but, uh, I still think the game looks decent and it looks okay. Um, but, you know, I, I wish they had more of a focus on crime. But, like, um, I, um, uh, I hope that you can own mansions. I know that there's, like, um, uh, that you're gonna be able to own businesses in this game. They're gonna be a big part of it. And you're gonna be able to customize them, so hopefully that will be good. Um, the activities, like Mayhem, that looked good. That was the only activity that we saw in this. Uh, some of the gangs, um, uh, uh, like the, the, the guys that wear yellow, that gang was kind of okay. Um, but then the, this other gang that you fought, they were like a bit weird. Like, you know, um, a dirt bike, like biker gang that you, they don't wear shirts for some reason. Um, but that was, um, you know, Kevin's former gang. Um, that's one of the gangs you fight. I don't, have they revealed the third gang yet? I don't think that they have. Um, but hopefully that when you have the gangs in the game, hopefully they don't make the same mistake Saints Row 3 and 4 did, where, you know, it's just like one big storyline. Because, like, Saints Row 1 and 2, the story, the way storylines were told in that one was way better, where you had three gangs and you had three different storylines, and then you had, like, an epilogue afterwards. That's how it should be. Each gangs have a storyline, you take over their territory, you eliminate the gangs, fight the gang boss at the end, kill them, and then you take over all their stuff. And then at the end, there's some epilogue where you fight some final gang or something like that. I hope it's not, like, one big storyline where you're fighting all three gangs at once, like in, um, like in Saints Row the Third. Um... But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think it, it, it looks bad. I think graphics look good. I think City, you know, is way more lifelike than Steelport. Steelport, I'm sorry, you know, for Saints Row 3 and 4 fans, I'm sorry if this, you know, pisses you off, but I didn't like Steelport. I thought it was kind of a bad city. Um, Stillwater was just so much better. Like, it had so much more life to it. So the districts, the neighborhoods were so much more detailed, the interiors. But, like, you know, Steelport really did not have that much to it. Like, too many of the streets were the same. There wasn't really much to, um, uh, to do there. Um, so... I could probably do a playthrough of this, guys. Let me know if you want me to do a playthrough. Um, I'd be open to doing it um, if you guys want me to. Um, I could do it in August when the game comes out, and then I, I could, like, you know, give my final say on what I think of the whole game once I beat it. Um, uh, but if you guys don't want me to play it, um, uh, then uh, you know, I understand, and I'll, I'll listen to whatever you guys want. Maybe I'll do a poll on it if you guys want me to play, um, uh, you know, the new Saints Row game. But um, it's up to you. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to do a playthrough of this game? Because... I would be open to doing it, um, uh, you know, I don't think it's as looks as good as Saints Row 2, which that's personally still my favorite one in the series, but, you know, for me, at least there's no superpowers, um, you know, none of that stuff, um, at least it's somewhat going back to the gangs, even though if it's, even though it is a bit weird, um, but let me know what you guys think down below, so um, thank you guys for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction here, let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next one, take care everyone.